What's good YouTube Underworld 6667 here? Yes, I have not done a video, an actual, actual video where I talk to you guys in a little bit of time. So I thought I'd make a little bit of a video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about Patrick Hoban and the controversy of how he slapped some guy in Berlin. Now, what it all started out with is a gentleman... Uh, I don't even know his name because he's not even popular on YouTube except for the fact that he's talking about Patrick Hoban. Made a video claiming, I'm only saying claiming because there is no hard evidence to the actual facts, so I have to say claiming, that apparently, I say apparently because once again no facts, just his hearsay, apparently Patrick Hoban at outside of the venue that that was clear it was outside of the venue outside of konami's jurisdiction apparently was discussing some heated topics with claudio kitchmer and uh, all this kind of stuff now during that some jackass comes over and starts talking and entering this person's conversation now once again rude for the person to come into a conversation he was not previously invited to. Just going to say that right now. Now in that, it became heated and Patrick Hoban apparently stood up and slapped the guy or hit the guy or did something to the guy, jerked him off. I don't know. Once again, it's hearsay, so I can't really tell you 100% facts because it's all hearsay for now and apparently nobody had a uh, camera and there were no police reports even though apparently this big scuffle happened and apparently he needs to get banned because this scuffle happened. But neither here nor there, let's talk about, once again, this story. So, Patrick Hoban pushes the guy or slaps the guy or whatever. Apparently, it was a big, huge guy from the UK. And the guy never came back at Patrick Hoban and never, you know, returned his shoves or hits or whatever. Apparently, the whole entire situation, that's where the story ends. Uh, Patrick Hoban is a big asshole because he pushed some guy or hit some guy or you know, super slapped him, bitch slapped him, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Here's the hard facts, okay? One, there is only hearsay evidence. Two, if there was actual evidence, the following could be considered evidence. Video evidence. Apparently he's got some recording of Patrick Hoban going, hey, you're a fucking dick face. I hate to tell you, but there's tons of recordings of me saying, hey, you're a fucking dick face. So I don't understand where he can get banned from a Konami event for calling somebody a fucking dick face or whatever. And if it does, you hear the scuffle, that still does not prove that Patrick Hoban touched this gentleman. It does not prove that the gentleman didn't touch Patrick Hoban in return. The whole thing is messed up. Police report would need to be filed in order for legal action to be taken. It would have to be on Konami's grounds in order for that kind of thing to actually matter to Konami. I hate to tell you, but there are tons of people who cause shit and cause trouble in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and they don't get banned from Konami events because it didn't happen at a Konami event. There's no reason for them to ban him, so I don't understand why that's even in a question. As far as his, you know, introduction or attendance within ARG, is he a good player? Yes. Have you proven without a shadow of a doubt that Patrick Hoban is an asshole? No. The millions, billions, quadrillions of people who continuously talk to Patrick Hoban and don't get pushed around, maybe your guy was kind of an asshole. I'm just saying, could be all hearsay, this is just something that's coming off the top of my head. This is only hearsay from my perspective because there is no hard evidence and everything that everyone says is hearsay. If everyone says that Patrick Hoban is a god and a saint, it's still hearsay. There's no proof that he's Jeebus. Is there? Now, let's look at it once again from, from ARG's perspective. He's a good player. Does he talk to fans pretty well? Yes. Does he attend all the events and do really well? Yes. Does this one event, you know, poo-poo him from, you know, giving a good representation of ARG? No. He's still a good player. He has not been caught for cheating. He decided to defend his opinion against some asshole who came in off the street and started shit with him and started calling him names probably and started, you know, coming into the conversation saying, hey, Patrick, you're, you're wrong. You're a dumbass. 
are we really going to ban him or give him any sort of disciplinary action for defending his opinion? No. So I don't even understand where this whole entire thing is coming from. In the comment section down below, please voice your opinion. Please make a video response to Underworld 6667 talks about Patrick Hoban. Please do everything that you can. Please make sure that you check the description bar for following me on Twitter, following me on Instagram, following me on Facebook, buy my shirts and all that kind of shit. And as always, do not make those binder blunders. Those are the fucking